Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Winged Supernova, and welcome back to Metroid Dread. In the last episode, we ran around pretty much everywhere possible, uh, grabbing the last few items that we can without power bombs, of course. Um, and in this episode, we are going to go to the final area. Meet the final Emmy. Hopefully grab the final weapon, power bombs. You see, I feel like this is the final area. And then I realize that there is an open spot on the right-hand side of the map above Cataris. And it makes me worried that we're going to have an eye level. But hey, I guess we'll see. Our ship is in this area, so it feels like at least we're going to have to find a way to escape here. Ooh, it's a rainy area. Hanubia. Ooh, we got Chozo soldiers in the background there. Not good. Not good for us at all. No area we can attack. Well, at least we have a navigation room to set us straight, right? Uploading data. This area, Anubia, is on the planet's surface. You finally made it, Samus. There is still a problem. Destroying the planet will eliminate the ex-parasites. But Raven Beat is unlikely to sit idly by as this happens. He will try to escape once he detects the danger. Raven Beat's search for Metroid DNA poses a threat to the galaxy. He will never give up. The odds are still not in your favor, but you must end things here. I am searching for his location. Return here later for an update. Return here later for an update. Something tells me we're going to have to return here later. to do that from a different angle. I guess we'll go this way first. I'll take that. So first... Oh, there's only three items here. This is a small area. to get to Ferenia. No. Interesting. So we need to go to the left there, probably to fight something. Uh, 
Oh boy, here we go. Specimens for everything. It was the power that uh, Ravenbeak sort of injected into us earlier. And here's our first look at the asshole. Emmy time! Yay! So there's a hidden item over here that we don't have yet. Marker for that. So that we know that there's power bombs there. So the Emmy is over here. What the hell? the energy and we overloaded it. Oh, there's that music. Which is a soldier fight. Damn, that thing does over a bar of health. I did not know that that sort of gunk beam attack that it has does that much damage.
What? He did it four times. I guess I... Oh, shit. We, like, completely fucking obliterated it. What is that power he was giving us? Well, hey, at least we got the power bombs from this guy. Now we can go grab everything before, you know, we have our final fight here. A devastatingly powerful bomb with a large blast radius. Then press Y to set once fully charged. Okay. What's the point in even coming up here if... Ah, that's why. Because it's not a, it's not a block that you can destroy, it's literally just destroying the fucking world, kind of. not ready for that. I was like, where does this go? And then it ended me up at, back in here and I was like, ah, Samus, fuck. You have manifested a new power. The speed with which you siphon energy is undoubtedly Metroid in nature. The Metroid DNA inside you must have fully awakened. No doubt as a result of the many battles you have fought on this mission. This true huh. power is the last thing you require to confront Raven B. I have detected a fortress in the sky high above the Nubia. You must be there. The time has come. Samus, fulfill your destiny. Okay. Well, before I do that, I'm going to go around and I'm going to grab all the fucking items that I missed. Oh, speed booster blocks, huh? Really? You're gonna fucking do that to me? That's really annoying. It destroys all blocks. works. Okay. Cool. We don't 
need that. We're at 66%, which means that there's one more. One more annoying item that we're missing. It's probably over here. No. I changed my mind. It's over here. You see this? It's it's wherever that is. What the hell was that? Hold on, what the fuck? I didn't know you could fucking do that. Huh. That's actually really cool. I never used that. Pour that open. I think this is probably the way I'm supposed to go. But, it seems that this is also where one of the items is. Yep. Missile tank. Okay. Anubia is 100% done, which means I'm not going anywhere any further that direction. We're good for now. I hate it when the map is completely not completely full. So that's that's one little tick of mine that you'll learn to know. Um yeah, we'll just go we'll just go to the area that, you know, we need stuff from. It looks like one power bomb tank is just one power bomb, which I think is kind of funny. to Ferenia now that we have completed Hanubia Orphanaria I don't remember what the hell its name is all I know is that there's a power bomb item here that I don't have yet because I needed the power bombs in order to be able to get it And that is what the rest of this episode will be. Now that we've made our story progression for the episode, we, uh, we're going to go around and grab the last few items from every single area for the rest of this episode. Every, uh, every area will be 100% complete by the time that this episode is done. That is what is happening there right now. And I am not, yeah, I'm just not stopping the episode until I have 100% on everything, so. This area is where we need to go. Get out of my way. All right, power bomb capacity increased by one. And we are we are at 92, and the last one is down there. That's where we're headed to next.
seems as if I need to go. through that extra area that I've just opened up over here. Uh huh. So look at that. Okay, Ferenia is done. That was quick and easy. Now, where to go, where to go next? There is that teleportal. I gotta take that and go. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do that. Why not? Let's hope it doesn't. Well, let me ch let me check the area in Berenia where this puts us. The cyan teleporter. We don't need that. Yeah, no. We want the green one. Or we just need to go to Artaria because... Artaria is way easier to get to. Do we want to go to Dairon? Do we want to go to Dairon? Let's go to Dairon, right? Let's just go to Dairon. Go back this way. Same way that we just were. Except this time we're going down in the room. Well, let me check real quick, since I'm here. I have to I have to always make sure which area we're gonna end up in, right? So we want the left one, because the left one takes us there, and that's the last thing we need. And then after that, we can go to Berenia that way. But I think we want to go to Cataris after that. So the left one is back through this door. I did not actually need to be in that room. And up here. miss it. Wow. Okay. I'm, all, I'm making wrong turn after wrong turn for this one. Here we go. We need to go this way. To Dairon. After get, we get this last item, we'll go to Cataris, then we'll go to Ataria, then we'll go to Berenia, and finally, Berenia all the way up to Gavorin, and then over to Elam. And Elam will be the last item that we need. Because we already got we already have everything in uh, Gavorin. So here we go, this way. And now we want to go down and to the right on our way over to Cataris because Dairon is completely done. It goes over, yeah, okay. God, the speedrunning strats in this game must be crazy. What with the shine sparking and then also using the using the Aeon to do those three triple teleports through rooms and stuff. Your movement in this game would be absolutely ludicrous if someone could optimize it.
but for me, I need my simple movement, because simple movement is best movement, in my opinion. There's a an indie game out there you guys might have heard of. It's pretty popular. It's called Celeste. Yeah. You really have you really have a jump and a dash, and it's the ways that you use your dash that really help you. Let's see here. So we need two things here. One and two. down, cross through that thing, and down over there. Okay. Seems simple enough. So we need to go this way. Just die. Alright, that's the right. Yeah, that's the right way. This way, down, across. How in the fuck am I supposed to do that? Feels like I have to shine spark through this. Right? That's what it feels like. I don't I don't even have the ability to do that, I don't think. Unless I do it through here. Oops. That's not what I wanted. Start it. Shoot. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Not sure if that was the intended way, but that's the way I did it. Where else? We need to go... What's the easiest route? It's to the left, actually. Over here. that it let me through. somehow get over to that side and do that, but how? Do I have to... Oh, hold on. I forgot that this thing can go through walls. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, no, I just have to... Oh, no, I can't. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. I'm dumb. I just realized I'm dumb. So I have to do this. Then I have to go down here. There we go. Now we're good. Now we can do it. That's not bad. 
That's not bad. Nah, that's not bad. Energy part. Four out of four. Max energy acquired. Lovely. Is that it? Yeah, that's it for Craterus. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Alright, so we have to go to Artaria now. And the easiest way to do that is through this direction, actually. Up. Go around. Gotta go down. Too many. Too many enemies. There we go. And to Artaria we go. I think there's only... I think I don't think there's any items we actually need from here. We already got everything, so we just need to make our way over to Berenia. Which I believe is on the other side of the map. Nice calm elevator ride before we get into the, the thick of it in the next episode. Because the next episode probably going to be the finale. And it's going to come out on Halloween, and it's going to be great. I'm currently recording this on the 22nd, so I'm kind of recording a bit ahead of time. But I just wanted to get this game done recording-wise while I could. Holy fucking shit, this area is huge! I just realized how huge this area is. So Berenia is all the way over there. And the best way to get there is just by fucking running to the left as much as possible. That's gonna be my, that's gonna be my strategy, Cotton. to the left as much as possible. Still have no idea where I am. Okay, we're working our way through it. Alright. Not fighting you. You're too big.
Hey, look, we made it. That wasn't too hard. Only took a couple minutes. To Berenia we go. And thankfully, because we're entering Berenia from this side, we can quite easily get down to where we need to go ah, in order to get that power bomb tank and finish off the items here. And then we have to make the journey all the way up to the top for the Gavorin place. I need to go up. I actually want to go to the left and then up. To go up and around in order to get this. It's unfortunate that I have to go up and around in order to get it, but it is what it is. I'm not complaining. Alright, this way we go. do. Oh no, we don't want to do that. Oh, we want to go up and then to the left. Other that. Oh wait, no. I don't need to do that because I remember that weren't there screw attack blocks down here? Am I crazy? I thought there were screw attack blocks down here. Well, apparently not. Huh. The more you know. What's that? Quick way down. How nice of them. See, they do this stuff because they know that we care, right? Kill the big crazy thing. actually. Yeah, really not bad. That's probably one of the easiest ones that you can do. The only unfortunate thing is that we are all the way at the bottom of the map. And we have to go the other way. So, the trek upwards begins. area 
and you're there. Fantastic. And now, it's Elam, and we're done. It's Elam, and we have 100% of the items in every area. This episode is actually shorter than I was expecting it to be. I was expecting to be at about the hour mark by now, but it's only been about 41 minutes, all things considered. Which is definitely a longer episode than what I am, you know, usually putting out, but... Sometimes it just has to be this way. So let's see here. We need to go over to Elam. And the easiest way to do that... We have to go around. Round up. Warp ball launch. Over to Elam. Okay. That's not too bad. That's not the way I want to go. I want to go up this way. And over to Elam. So, the one power bomb area over here was all the way in the top right. Good thing this area is relatively short. Nope. That would have been cool if that actually worked, but it doesn't really matter to me because this area is really short. And that's the last item we need in the entire game. Now we just have to find our way out. Which is pretty easy. Things regardless. I guess I could have just done that. Okay, fine. To the left. To the right. All the way over. done well actually hold on let me let me before I step on that let me check okay 100% here 
100%. We are 100% done with all of the areas, at least so far. Not sure if there's going to be anything more, but typically, like, the total the total missile count in Metroid games is 275, so as long as I've got that many, I think I'm good. It's pretty interesting how they can typically be really consistent with that number as well throughout all of the Metroid titles, despite how different the areas that you have to visit are, despite how different the games are. Like, this one's been completely different from pretty much any other Metroid. The only one that was similar, of course, was Samus Returns, done by Mercury Steam, the same people who made this one. And that's mostly because of the parry mechanic returning. Oh, yeah, I gotta press Y while holding VR for that. Wow, wow. Let's see, I need to go through here. No, I can't go through here. I have to go up, down, and over, and through all that bullshit first. Okay. My target is set. Slide me down through here. I kind of want to just use a power bomb to clear out all these blocks so I don't have to fucking deal with them. I want to go down. Do I want to go up? Super Metroid speedrun tactics. Gotta arm pump as much as possible. It's like you're rubbing the stick back and forth. you would be able to do that for an entire speedrun. Those people are those people have way more dedication to that particular thing than I do to anything in my entire life. Like Jesus Christ. So yes, we will finish off with Hanubia here. And then once we have made it back up to where we need to be. Soldier flipping around. Doing his little flippy dippies. Do I have to fight him? Yep. Super Chozo Soldier. Whoa. Whoa. Doesn't even work on his shield.
Holy shit. This guy's annoying as fuck, specifically because his shield blocks my missiles. Like, I'm not sure what I can do to hit him. dude. What the fuck? I'm using the thing and it won't work. <clears throat> I guess you have to be like right next to him in order to be able to do that. But nobody wants to be that close to him. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and be very defensive on this. I don't know why that didn't work, dude. Oh, you can grapple it away from him. Let's see. Oh, come on! That, was th that spear was below the ground at that point. Okay, but good to know that the, the spear has a lingering hitbox on it. I thought I was fighting that pretty well.
Oh. Man, that thing really does have a lingering hitbox, doesn't it? This thing reminds me of, like, Venom. Christ, this thing is very f spry. Yes, this is the word I'm looking for. Oh. I'm like one hit away from death right now. That. Oh God, dude, he does he does that so many times. I don't have. I don't even know if I have enough missiles to kill him. Like, how many missiles does it take? God, he's so quick sometimes, and then other times he's a pain in the ass. Please, please just, yes, destroy that bitch. Absolutely splendid. So, I think that's going to be it for now. Uh, what a what an episode, what an hour-long episode. Um, that was the true... Elite Chozo soldier that we had to fight. Uh, so, in the next part, we're going up to the uh, to the floating island, potentially uh, beating the final boss. Well, I'm just gonna say it: we're gonna be beating the final boss next episode, and we're going to escape the. Uh, we're gonna escape on our ship and blow the entire fucking planet up, uh, because. <laughs> We have 100% items, and there's absolutely nothing else for us to do in the game. So that's going to be it for now, and in the next episode, we're finishing this. Finishing this. See you guys then.